hi everyone welcome back yeah so today we just want to do um we make them puff puff quick one so that's our flour and um you can use any type of flour you have that's our all-purpose flour and we are going to measure four cups that's four cups inside my bowl already so i'm going to save it just in case if there is any dirt in it so it will go inside your um, mixture so that's why i'm using straight to get hold of that so we'll do it and um after then we'll add all our dry ingredients inside it and um then we add our wet ingredient so can you see guys i never knew there was um anything inside the flour and thankfully i did that so that's the main reason why you have to do that so now i'm going to add my dried ingredients that's my yeast which is the most important ingredient for puff puff yeah and now i'm going to add my sugar that's sugar puff puff takes a lot of sugar so if you want to add more than one cup you can do so i'm adding a cup and that's my nutmeg if you do not want to add up to that because basically this nutmeg changes it's colored like kind of brown but i love it so if you do not want it like that you might just skip it it's optional it's not um necessary it's optional but it gives it a good aroma so that's why i love it and i'm just mixing all the dry ingredients together and i going to add my wet ingredients now so I have my milk and I'll add my vanilla extract just a teaspoon I'll, add, I'll mix it together and I'll use it to mix my my flour and that milk is like one and a half cup because I want to add more water so i just like share it i added one cup of water so this is one and a half cups of milk so now i'm going to add everything together now and mix it very well i mix it very well so that's it i'm just trying to mix it so you have to put your liquid bit by bit don't put everything at once because you might think the water will be okay for it the water will be perfect and it will be too much and one thing about that is if it's too watery if the texture is too watery when you fry it you know this pot, pot that when you press everything will just go inside it's only gas that is inside that's how it will look but if the point your mixture your butter is thick but when even when you finish frying it and you press it you see that there's mm -mm, there's food in there not just the back so you need to so at least when you eat two or three you'll be free but so this is not that uh, so i'm adding water there just added uh, one cup of water just to make it um to mix it well and give me the texture I want and basically that's what I'm doing mm -hmm. yeah so like I was saying don't make it too watery yeah that is all I'm doing I'm not going to add any other water to that yeah just the, that's the remaining um, half cup of the one cup of what I had it and I'm not adding any other water to it so this is it just keep mixing it mix it together till all the liquid mix well you don't want to be seeing one liquid so can you see that's the texture you want to arrive at do not make it to be too watery because if it's too watery 
Your puff puff will be puff puff. <laughs> yeah, not puff puff. It needs to be puff puff. There won't be anything inside it. When when you press it, it will just go inside like that. I do not like it like that. So I'm trying to cover it with that um film, and I'll cover it with that other foil paper. Then with um napkins just to give it uh, <laughs> it you know it has to rise so it has to rise so I just want the heat to be more so and guys that milk your water your liquid must be warm do not use cold water use it i'll uh, use the warm water to to mix it and if your yeast is not quick yeast like you have to Add a little bit of warm water before pouring it inside your um, flour or just mix it with your liquid ingredients. So I'm setting it inside the microwave so that it can keep. I'm, I won't, I'm not going to turn the microwave on, I'm just putting it there, just keeping it there to keep it warm. You can put it inside your oven or just set it aside. So now we're ready to fry. I kept it for like um, three hours. If you want to fry it immediately, like just at least leave it for one hour. So I kept my. I was busy. I was doing something, so I kept it for like one hour, three hours. So now I'm frying it. Allow the oil to be very hot before you start, and later you will reduce the heat. So that's what I'm doing here now. I want the oil. The oil is hot now just for the first set and later i'll reduce the heat so that the inside will be well cooked yeah so just put um water or oil beside you to be dipping your hand before putting it inside your butter and just to help you So that's what I'm doing basically here. Yeah. Trust me, this is the best puff puff ever. Best one you can ever think of. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's good to have snacks at home. And I'm just, yeah. You know when when, when I could remember when I was in secondary school, if I want to buy a puff puff like this, I'll be looking for the one that has that thing, that long long. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, that has that. That's the one we first cut and put in our mouth. Uh, children can be so funny. I don't know what is what is in that cough. <laughs> I could remember very well that I love it. So that is it. Just fry it till it become golden brown. And you're good to Thank you guys. 